Alrighty, in this video we're going to look at some of the things to look out for if you play any of the games in the Build an Atom Fet simulation. So if we look at the first game, alright, this one is asking us to find the element. So to find an element, you need to know how many protons it has. Now the red is the protons, so it is hydrogen because it has one proton. Remember, the number of protons is the place in the periodic table. Now after that it asks you, is it neutral or is it an ion? Now something which is neutral will have the same number of protons and electrons. One plus, one minus would be zero charge. In this picture we can see there is one plus, but two electrons or two negatives. That means it's not neutral. In fact, it would be negative overall because this plus and this minus would cancel and there'd be an extra minus. So we call this an ion. So you're going to click on that and then go check. Now if we look at another game, for example, this one might have you a little bit confused. So we'll go in here. Now this is the symbol, but it's not the same as the periodic table. In the periodic table, the number up the top is the atomic number but when you're looking at just one element and you want to show its symbol we put the mass up the top and the number of protons or the atomic number down the bottom so in this one you can see that the mass is the everything in the middle so two the one represents the one red which is the one proton now over here it's asking for a charge so it's asking you is it neutral and if not what is the actual charge so remember if it's neutral, it will have the same number of protons and electrons. So you have one proton, but two electrons. So this proton would cancel out this, leaving you with an extra negative. So the overall charge on this one would be minus one. And then you do a check. And that's the kind of things you'll be looking out for in these games. Thanks for watching.